Okay, so let's talk about how to clip your pet's nails. Now with cats, there are a couple of situations where you might be wanting to clip their nails. Firstly, if they live indoors and they're destroying the furniture. And secondly, with older cats, if they're not grooming themselves anymore and the nails are not getting shorter and sharpened so they grow around into the pad. Firstly, have all your equipment ready to go before you go and get the animal. The equipment list is actually quite short for clipping nails. All you really need is a pair of nail clippers. There are a number of different styles that suit different people. Uh, and a cake of soap, just in case you get that quick and you need to dip or press the, the nail into that to stop any bleeding. So with cats, good restraint is very important. They're pretty smart animals and when you suddenly grab them, they'll definitely know you're up to something. So you need to get hold of them, otherwise they'll get away and you'll spend all day chasing them. So I like to gently but firmly have them under my arm and then with the non-clipping hand, grab the little paw and press down on the top of the paw with my thumb. That way the nails are extruded and you can see them really well. I like to use these little scissor nail clippers for cats. And then I clip straight upwards, getting the nail as short as possible and avoiding the quick. Now if you do cut the nail too short, well the quick or the little blood vessel will bleed and a little bit of blood does go a long way. Usually it will stop within a few minutes but a little trick is get some soft soap and just press the end of the nail into that and the wax in that will help to plug up the bleeding. So don't forget, check the nails every six weeks and a nice little touch is a good treat at the end. Good luck. Here you go, Bob.